well, the let's say the thing that triggered the project was the fact that Porto right now is like facing this touristic explosion, and we at some point ended up uh, ended up just working with the same typology all the time, the typology of the Airbnb apartment. And I mean, in a way, it was challenging for us at first, but then we sort of you know got tired of this, and we started to think like if it's good or bad for the city and if maybe it's not the right way to go if maybe like we should maybe push this bit forward into let's say developing a new typology or introducing a new way of living somehow so it's a consequence of this uh, kind of very you know crazy capitalistic economy that is happening there and our attempt to push it forward what triggered this project is the fact that we uh, I think we were dealing with architecture in a very weird way because this is also not the way you know you are uh, thinking you will work with, you will work with after university. It was an architecture with no client, which is a bit not normal. It was an architecture when a person just you know wants to invest a lot of money, and they are not interested in the not not interested in architecture in you know the concept of beauty or whatever. They just want the biggest amount of square meters and they want to sell it right away. So in the beginning it was enjoyable for us because it was like a nice playground and we could allow ourselves to do so many things but then again we think that this is maybe a bit unhealthy situation this is like the very symptom of our time i'd say with this just crazy amount of tourists so yes well it's an ongoing research because we still uh, we still have these projects and we are trying to reflect on what we do but as an outcome of this research because we believe in the idea of developing a new typology a new kind of uh, single cell or unit like we want to somehow minimize the space and to make it as sharp as possible and as an outcome of this project we see uh, a possibility of building this one-to-one -one pavilion uh, this pavilion or this unit for a tourist that will somehow address this you know overlapping of living and traveling and that will it will be an, explora an exploration of, let's say, the relation between uh, the flexibility and the permanence, the relation between the architectural form and the city, and then the repetition and exception. Like there are so many things that are like involved in this research. So for us, it's really a crucial kind of study. I think it's it's not only amazing to uh, let's say introduce your idea and to share the knowledge, but also to see all the other presentations because well architecture is knowledge and we are sharing this kind of knowledge here and it's very insightful and you can spot a lot of connections in projects that might seem very different in the beginning.